Hello, welcome back. In this clip, we want to briefly talk about sorting and filtering. When we inserted the tables, you may have noticed that little arrows appeared in the column headers. These are quick access buttons to sorting and filtering your columns. So in the easiest way, you can just click here and perhaps sort uh, by age or uh, by score. Let's do the descending perhaps. Um, and you can restore original orders um, by clicking on an ID column if you have that, if it makes sense. So in many cases, it actually does make sense to have continuous IDs so you can restore original orders. So that's your uh, very simple uh, sorting function. If you are in a document that has no table, uh, so a blank document, you will have to activate the sorting function uh, manually. And you can do so in uh, by just clicking here on um, this little um, tile and then select a filter that will have the same effect. If you want to do a more complex sorting function, you have two options to call um, that field. A, you can click here on custom sort, or if you go to the tab uh, data, there's also um, a sorting area where you can click on sort. Oh, okay. So this error, well, it's fine that it pops up. That just means uh, you can't be sorting if you're outside uh, the table. So you've actually activated a cell that is not in the table that you want to sort. So that obviously won't work. So let's try again. There we go. So in this dialog, you can now select conditions on which you want to sort first and how you want to sort them. So suppose we wanted to sort first by uh, gender and then go from A to Z. So that we'll first look at the, the females and then the males. And then you want to sort by age. And let's go from smallest to largest. That will then sort the, resort the data to give you the females first. And within the female group, it will go from smallest to uh, largest age. And then similar for the males from uh, the youngest to oldest. I rarely ever use that, but it might be interesting background information to know that this is an option that you can use. Now, as for the filter, you can also click on the little arrows and then filter by what you want to have, right? So you can either unselect all and then just keep the ones that you want. So suppose we only wanted the all participants that scored um, under 15 for whatever reason. If you wanted to keep all, you can select all again, and that would remove the filter. With gender, it might be um, a bit easier. So you just unselect uh, females if you wanted to look at um, males. You can clear filter by clicking on uh, the clear filter button here, or by looking at the, if you're in the home tab, in your sort and filter area, you can also select uh, clear and that would wipe um, all filters. More advanced filter options include the following. If you call up a, gen uh, a column by which you want to filter, you can select uh, a number of different options. So something that you may want to use is um, that you want to keep only the rows which, in which the cell value uh, in this cell begins with perhaps phi female. Right, so that would filter out all the males. Um, so in this small data set, it doesn't make much sense, but we'll see a few applications with larger sets um, of corpus linguistic data, for instance. Now, two things happen uh, when you filter is A, the rows turn blue. So that's an indication that you have set a filter somewhere. So some, sometimes it pays off to uh, look at the rows, what, what color they have, especially if you have larger data sets with um, lots and lots of rows where you can't see the end of the document at the bottom, or if you have a large number of columns where you can't see the end of the document on the side. The second thing that happens is that down at the bottom, you get an indication or a count of how many rows are currently uh, filtered from the total. So here we have filtered three rows because we have fee, uh, three females in a data set of six. So this way you can do a bit of counting if you wanted to. 
You can also filter this set uh, further, of course. So you could say, I want all females that have uh, scored over 18 points or 18 points and over. So you can then select um, uh, the score column and then say you want all the values of this already filtered set that are larger than um, 18, which is only one person, or you would have greater than or equal to that would then include the 18 to give you two and the numbers would update at the bottom. If you have a large set and you have multiple filters and you don't want to go and uncheck all the filters and remove all the filters, you can do that very quickly by um, going to the sort and filter um, section here and then just click um, uh, clear and you will now see that the rows are not blue anymore which means that you're actually looking at your entire data set. Okay that's it for today. Sorting and filtering are very very powerful and help you do a lot of very good things. Bye.